One of the most common presumptions is that supercars and sports cars all have very unique and very complicated engines. While that's true in most cases, particularly if we look at models like Lamborghini, Ferrari, and McLaren, there are many more sports cars with much more humbler motors. In fact, there are a lot of speedy and exclusive models that actually borrow their engines from ordinary vehicles and give them a second lease on life. How's it going guys? I'm Jeff, this is Modern Muscle, and today you're going to learn about 8 cars you'll never guess shared the same engines. The Koenigsegg CC8S The CC8S was the first proper production model from Koenigsegg in 2002. The company made just 6 cars, which were enough to establish it as a new force in the hypercar world. <laughs> With a 0 to 60 time of just 3.5 seconds and a top speed of 240 miles per hour, it was one of the fastest vehicles of its time and truly a force to be reckoned with. However, it was powered by Ford's modular V8 engine, commonly found in New York Yellow Cabs, Police Crown Victorias, and Ford F-150 pickup trucks. Of course, Cundins they thoroughly modified Ford's engine and put two big superchargers on it, resulting in 664 horsepower. But still, it was the same block and displacement like the one used in the ordinary Mustang GT from the mid-1990s. An interesting thought when you're in a New York taxi at 5 miles per hour. The McLaren F1 the McLaren F1 is either the most famous car with another manufacturer's engine in it, or the most celebrated car that people didn't realize didn't have its own engine. The brainchild of Formula One designer Gordon Moray, the F1 road car was the world's fastest production car for most of the 1990s, and the first to use a carbon fiber monarchy chassis. McLaren's Formula One cars were using Honda engines at that time, but Moray's attempt to convince Honda to produce a V10 or V12 for his F1 road car was unsuccessful. So the power plant in the F1's Gold Line engine bay is a BMW V12, codenamed the S72. I guess the new Supra and the McLaren F1 have a lot more in common than one may think. The Lamborghini Huracan on the right, you have the beautiful Lamborghini Huracan, powered by a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 with over 602 horsepower. It's an all-wheel drive rocket with a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission and a claimed 0 to 60 time of just 3 seconds flat. On the left is the gorgeous Audi R8 V10 Plus, powered by a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 with over 602 horsepower. It's an all-wheel drive rocket with a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission and a claimed 0 to 60 time of just 3 seconds flat. Wait, what? Yes friends, the Lamborghini Huracan is one of the fastest supercars on the Nürburgring, and the Italian sports car's performance is possible thanks to an Audi V10 FSI engine, which is also found under the hood of the Audi R8. These two cars have nearly identical drivetrains, a product of Lamborghini and Audi being owned by the same parent company, Volkswagen. So if you buy the Audi, you'll get a splash of Lamborghini in your German sports machine, while if you go for the Lamborghini, you'll get it with a measure of Audi. The Nissan 350Z when the Nissan 350Z was introduced in 2002, sports car lovers all over the world rejoiced. Finally, a proper two-seater sports coupe with a powerful V6 up front and rear-wheel drive. A lot of praise went into its 3.5-liter V6 engine, called the VQ35DE, which delivered 290 horsepower and exhilarating performance. However, many people may not know that this engine was used in a vehicle that's on the total opposite side of the car spectrum. The Renault Grand Espace minivan. Through the magic of cost-cutting and engine sharing, it installed into its full-size Grand Espace minivan. Introduced in 2006 and sold in until 2010, Renault produced very few of these performance people carriers with the 350Z's engine, which was slightly detuned to 245 horsepower. However, despite the significant power for a minivan and high top speed of 140 miles per hour, not a lot of people chose this model, and the Grand Espace 3.5 was a forgotten French Japanese gem. The Noble M12 Noble is one of those small yet very interesting car manufacturers, which produce fantastic cars but never evolved beyond kick car recognition. To be honest, this is a shame since Noble's cars are brutally fast creations that put very famous names to shame on the track. This is precisely what the M12 is. With 357 horsepower and a curb weight of just over 2300 pounds, it can outrun almost anything. The interesting thing about this car is the fact that it uses a 2.5 liter Ford Duratec V6 engine, commonly found in almost all Ford Fusions, Ford Escapes, and Mercury Milans all over the world. And if you're wondering what a Mercury Milan is, don't worry. I literally have no idea either. 
Of course, Noble installed twin turbos, forged pistons, high lift camshafts, and bigger injectors to achieve that 357 horsepower. But still, the majority of this engine is exactly the same in what's in a Ford Fusion. Another cool detail is that the taillights are also nicked from the first generation Ford Fusion, a shocking reminder from where the engine was borrowed from. The Ford GT. Fans of the new F-150 will be excited to know that the truck will be offering an all-new engine for the 2017 model year. The F-150 can now be equipped with the third-generation Ford 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6 engine. Some astute observers may have noticed that the Ford F-150 isn't the only vehicle that comes with the high-output 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6 engine. Because in fact, you could also find this engine in the $1 million Ford GT supercar. So is the new Ford F-150 engine the same engine that's in the Ford GT? The Ford F-150 can be equipped with the third generation 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. On the truck, this engine produces 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. Now obviously, the Ford GT's 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine is just a little bit more powerful. <laughs> All right, I lied. It's a fuck ton more powerful. With a mid-mounted twin turbo 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, making 647 horsepower and 555 pound-feet of torque, aerodynamic shaping, and a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission along for the ride, the Ford GT provides neck-snapping acceleration, propelling its drivers to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds, on its way to a 200 mile per hour top speed. Nevertheless, Ford has actually said that these engines are actually pretty much the same. While these two engines may have begun in similar places, heavy modification has been done to each one in order to tailor it to the vehicle that'll be powering. Providing power to a four-wheel drive truck is different from powering a performance supercar. The technology and systems supporting the two engines are different as well. The Ford F-150 models can be equipped with an all-new 10-speed automatic transmission, while the GT engine is paired with a 7-speed dual clutch. Nevertheless, EcoBoost fans can be reassured by the fact that while they're not identical, these two engines began in similar places. The Noble M600. The average family man or woman driving around in their V8 Volvo S80 or XC90 probably has no idea that the engine sitting in front of them powers one of the fastest, most extreme cars on the planet. The car in question? We're talking about another Noble, this time the M600. Volvo may be best known for their safety features, but the automaker from Sweden has produced their own engine since 1930. Volvo may seem like a curious starting point when choosing a supercar's power plant, but that 4.4 liter engine, transversely mounted in the S80, and X C90, but mounted laterally in the M600, is actually built by Yamaha, all or ABS. Yeah, ye? The Lotus Evora. Over the years, Lotus has used engines from various companies like Ford, Renault, Range Rover, and so on. But in the current Lotus Evora, they use a 3.5 liter Toyota engine, with or without the supercharger. The exciting or shocking part is that this 3.5 liter V6, known as the 2GFRE, is the same unit used in many ordinary Toyota models around the world, with 276 horsepower on tap. This motor can be found in Camry sedans, the Highlander SUV, and the Lexus ES350. The supercharged version, which delivers over 400 horsepower, is a bit more special, but it still has the same engine that powers Karen's Toyota Senna minivan. The Donkervoort D8 GTO. If the Donkervoort D8 GTO looks like a Caterham's crazier, more powerful extreme twin brother drawn by an anime artist, it's because the D8 is based on the Lotus 7. Only it's been modernized with an emphasis on improving aerodynamics. The automaker from the Netherlands was able to generate downforce with this latest design, while still reducing air resistance by 20% over the previous model. The D8 GTO uses a 2.5 liter 5 cylinder TFSI engine from Audi particularly tuned to achieve 340 to 380 horsepower. This standard engine is used all over Audi's model range, including the Audi RS3, TT RS, and RSQ3. Due to the fact that it's relatively small and turbocharged, it's easily tunable. And this is exactly why Dockerfart uses it. Well guys, those are eight cars that you'll never guess actually use the same engines. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and post notifications on. You could also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. Also, if you guys like what you see at the channel, want to support it more, want exclusive content, and actually be part of the Modern Muscle family, go to patreon.com slash modernmuscle and sign up. Thanks again, guys. I hope to see you soon. Until next time. Peace.